Hello, so here we've actually already linked and created kind of the data tables in Bubble. And now we want to allow the user to actually be able to create things. So how would we do this? Well, actually, uh, looking back here again, we have a user, they have orders, and then the orders have items. So let's do the same here. So we're gonna skip the part where we allow the user to sign up because there's already some tutorials on this. Now we're just gonna have kind of a place in the app where it's, which is called create uh, new orders. And for this, we're gonna have an input and we're gonna have a button. create and basically when we click the create button we're gonna create a new order and the name of the order is gonna be what we input and now importantly in the second step we immediately change the current user so the current order of the user becomes the result of step one, so the order we created, or also the list of orders become uh, the result of step one is added to the list of orders. So in this way, immediately when we create an order, it's associated with a user. What does this mean? This means that whenever we have a text or a group, we can click insert dynamic data and put current users, current order. And as the orders have, for example, name or list of items, we could even write the current users orders name over here. Or in a repeating group, which shows lots of similar entries, we could have orders here and we can show the current users list of orders. And then if we input the text, we can actually show current sales orders name. So let's try this out in the editor. So we're going to create new orders. We're going to call it milkshake. We're going to click create. And here we're going through a step by step. We created the new order called milkshake and we added the, to the current user milkshake as a current order and list of orders. So here we see the text showing the current order of the user and the list of orders too. So if I create a new order called uh, lots of tea, then the current order becomes lots of tea and my list of orders, the lots of tea is added to that. Or I could create a new one called shopping on Monday and the same happens again. So one step more complicated will be shown in the next video. This is all findable step by step on tipless.com, link below where you can find lots of free tips on Bubble you can filter through.